Hey folks, this is Mr. Allison coming at you Monday. Got an assignment for you this week. I'd like you to write a five paragraph essay about the most important things you have learned during this pandemic. So here we are, here we are in Schoology. And uh, as you can see, there are my Zoom links for my Zoom meetings. Um, here is the assignment, pandemic five paragraph essay, where you can submit your essay when you're done typing it up. Here is also where you can submit it right there. Um, here uh, is the outline that you can use that I would like you to use um, before you type up your essay. Use that outline. You can just make a copy by hand, by longhand, in a journal or on a loose leaf piece of paper. Or you can print it off if you have that ability at home. Uh, and then there's also the example of the pandemic five paragraph essay for you to read right there that I wrote. Okay, so that's in Schoology, and it's going to be due on Friday. I just want to go over a few notes with you on that. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to answer the question, um, what is important to you? What are we discovering? What are the main three things that you have discovered that are important to you during uh, this uh, COVID-19 crisis? My three things were my health, my students, and my family. And the first thing I came up with after that was my thesis statement which is the single most important sentence in your essay. And for me, my thesis statement was, including those three important things, this pandemic has shown me how incredibly important my health, my students, and my family are to me. So that's my thesis statement. A couple things to keep in mind. Please make sure you use the outline that is included, again, in the materials section um, on the web page. There's the outline right there. Um, so go ahead, use that outline. Make sure you read the example that I wrote. Uh, format your essay the same way. Use 1.5 spacing. Use 12-point font. And then type in Submit to Schoology. You can do that just by clicking on the assignment right there or uh, by clicking on it over here in Upcoming and just um, hitting Submit or Attach for whatever you type up in Word or on uh, Google Docs. So here I have, by longhand... I've taken my outline and just written it out. So assuming that maybe you don't have the capacity to print off your outline, you might just want to go from uh, the outline in here, which looks like this. Nice and uh, color-coordinated outline. Uh, you can see... Here is the outline. So there are five sentences per paragraph, five paragraphs. So you can just print that off or copy it out as I have over here. And you can see I have completed my outline. Not complete sentences, just notes. Um, when you're filling out your outline, make sure you start with the thesis statement. That's the most important line in the whole essay. It's that one right there. You start right there, and then you're going to plug in your main three things that you feel are important right now into one, two, and three, and then those will become the subjects of your body paragraphs. Just like you got the red up here, that would become the subject of your red paragraph. The green would become the subject of your green paragraph. The blue become the subject of your blue paragraph. And then when you're in that concluding uh, paragraph, you restate your thesis, you restate your main three reasons in order, your main three points, and then your clincher, your call to action. What do you want your audience to go and do when you're uh, when they're all done reading? So there's my outline all made up. Just wanted to give you a little reminder about the holy sandwich of language arts. So a, a paragraph, an essay, it's like a sandwich. Just like in a paragraph, you've got that topic sentence and a concluding sentence. That's like your top piece of bread and your bottom piece of bread. Topic sentence, concluding sentence. And if it's just one paragraph, my bacon, lettuce, and tomato, those are my three sentences in the middle. And if it's a, a whole, the whole essay, I've got an introductory paragraph, supporting paragraph one, supporting paragraph two, supporting paragraph three, and then a concluding paragraph. So whether you're talking about a single paragraph a five-paragraph essay, a ten-paragraph essay, whatever you're writing, it's the same basic idea. Your first sentence, your first paragraph, and your last paragraph make, are very similar. They make the same points. The stuff in the middle 
is all your examples, your details, your reasons. Your grabber, your grabber, that first sentence in that first paragraph needs to be like a little story or an interesting fact or question to grab the reader's attention. Your thesis statement, that's the most important sentence in the entire essay. It tells your main point about what the essay is all about. And then your clincher, think of your clincher, that last sentence there, as a call to action. You're going to finish your essay with what do you want your audience to go and do after having read your essay. Okay, a couple things to keep in mind. Your voice. So this is academic writing. So we're going to maintain a formal voice, not a casual voice. We don't write cuz instead of because as we do when we're texting. We, we write it out B-E-C-A-U-S-E, -E, not just C-U-Z as we do when we're texting because we're using formal voice. Please make sure you start your paragraphs with transition words. First, second, third, follow those with commas. Make sure you got a heading, a title, uh, you're indenting your paragraphs. You're gonna have at least five paragraphs with at least, at least five sentences in each. And then make sure before you submit, you proofread, you edit, proofread out loud because your eyes or your ears will always catch errors that your eyes don't see. And then you can type it up using Word or you could use Google Docs or whatever kind of word processing uh, program you, you want to use there. And uh, so here's mine. You can see my heading over there, Alexander Allison, 7th grade LA. The uh, assignment is the uh, five paragraph essay. And there's today's date. Came up with the title and then wrote my essay. Five paragraphs, and this is included in the uh, material section for this page, so you can read that example. So there you go. I'll be doing office hours, 12.30 to 1.30 as usual, and then LA meets every day at 3. That's optional. We'll be debating, but I'll also answer questions about the essay if you have questions then. All right, folks. Hope you're well. Take care.